Well, now that we've built Twerp, we might want to do some of our own changes. Uh, you know, some people, they build their custom Twerp, and it uh, shows up, and it has a special splash screen or something like that. Um, if you go into your uh, TeamWin directory, and you go to uh, Bootable, and then Recovery, uh, you can find in here, I've done a video on this before uh, with doing this with Lineage, but uh, we're looking here at Omni, and it, it's going to be the same, but Bootable Recovery, you can go into GUI, and uh, in here you see you have Theme, and uh, you have various different, uh, you know, um, theme styles that you can use. So let's, let's say we're going to uh, take portrait uh, HDPI and as far as knowing which one you need you just look under your device uh, for your device in our case find 7 OP and uh, if you um, look in here you should see let's see we are looking for HDPI Maybe it's under board config. Um, no? Let's see. If I was smart, I would look this stuff up beforehand. Um, density is 480. probably staring me right in the face and I'm just missing it here. And let's see. We usually in one of these three files you're going to specify this. Seeing it in here. Um, but but typically you'll have uh, one of your files will actually tell you um, which uh, theme that it's going to use, TW uh, underscore theme. And uh, typically it'll say that it's going to be, you know, a portrait, HDPI, or a landscape, HDPI, or whatever the case may be. Um, pretty sure this one's portrait, HDPI. But you could do the appropriate one for your device if you know it. If you don't, you could uh, do a little trial and error and figure it out. But if you jump in here to images, um, you see the different buttons and everything. And, and this gives you a way to theme the device. So you can change, for instance, the Splash logo. You can open it with... Uh, you know, a tool like uh, G-Edit or, um, or not G-Edit, I'm sorry, uh, GIMP or some a similar tool and, you know, draw your own stuff on there, download a different picture from the web and put that in there and then build what, uh, what you want out of it here. So this is a really easy way to customize is just to change any of these files that you want to have a different um, look to it, maybe change the color, you want it to be green instead of blue, or whatever the case may be, um, just different options that you can find in here. Uh, you can also go through the UI and change, you know, which, um, you know, font you're using, and, uh, you know, change the name of the buttons, um, or even, you know, in this splash here, this is just during that first initial splash setup where it shows, hey, it's Team Wins logo or whatever the case may be. Um, so those are where you would be able to make some changes and uh, edit things to uh, to be extra cool. Um, you know, then you can go in here to Common and look at the fonts. You can add different fonts that you want, or uh, and images and that sort of thing. So here's the typical fonts that are used. You could download like the Tron font and put it in there. And uh, just a lot of neat things that you could do. Uh, just make sure that you edit the appropriate files um, when you do that. And then all you just all you have to do is you just build it again. So just uh, keep that in mind. I do have another video on that where I do this in Lineage, but I wanted to touch on it here. Um, 
really easy way to customize some things, add some things, or change it up, change the way it looks, change the way it uh, reads, and uh, make it kind of unique for yourself.